Hello and welcome back. Oh, so we uh, we need to go into graph view now and make our functions to actually create um, all the different nodes. So let's go down here and go public data node dot create. I'm just gonna make sure that I spell this correctly. Start. Yeah, let's just go with that. Then it's not that long. Ah, screw it. Let's add a node on so we know it's a node. Couldn't stop myself, okay? And we need to give it a position. So, underscore position. Alright, so we need to make a starter node. And we're just gonna call it TMP equals new. Start a node that takes in a position dot editor window dot graph. Oh, graph you this. That's just this. There we go. Uh, and then we just need to return the TMP. There we go. And can we just be lazy? Do this and then go and throttle H. Go stat if we like this. And then instead go dialog note replace. Oh, it seems to work. Then control H and go event node. Oh, and I need to spell it correctly, else it probably won't work. And then select this one and go end node replace. There we go. And then we have all the all the nodes here. Wonderful. Let's just save that and go back to a uh, node search window. And let me just quickly check my notes if we're doing this correctly. All right. So now we need to actually add it to grave view. So we're going to go grave view dot add element. And the element we need to add is funny enough, a uh, grave view dot create start note. And I'm sorry about that, my head has just decided to run out of power. The best moments, right? Alright, so now we have this, we're simply just going to copy paste that in here, here, and here. So we are going to say dialog node, and it's dialog node, and then we need event, uh, event node, and we need end node. Gertie. I'm gonna save this and I'm just gonna check my notes again. Yeah, that looks fine. Good, then we go back to review. Uh, let me check my notes again. So we need to go to the top because now we actually need to have the, the note here. So, note search window. Let's just call it search window. All right. So let's see. Our node search window. We are going to create a new function called uh, at search window, I guess. At search uh, window. Okie dokie. And that search window. Uh, da, da, da. Here we're gonna set search window as scriptable object dot create an instant. And the instance we are creating is of course our 
node search window. So here we are creating a new version of our search window. And this search window, we're going to uh, instantiate it, like on config it. And the config, we're going to just control mouse mouse over to see what it needs. It needs a editor window. So we're going to go edit a window and it needs a grab view. And we're just going to give it this. Goody. And let's see here. So we can create a node creation request that is now equals the con. Um, yeah, that is now equal, and uh, let's just call it value. Nah, that's stupid. Uh, context. Let's go for context. No. No, ah, oh, screw it. We can always change it later. So context equals. Oh, search window. I didn't want search entity. Search window dot open. And the thing we want to open is, of course, our search content with our new content. Uh, content dot search mouse possession. And the pl of course, we want it to be our search window. There we go. And we, of course, need to actually call this. So let's just add this up here. Wonderful. And um, let's see if that actually works. Let's have a look. Yes, that seems to work. Does it actually work in the beginning? Interesting. All right, so if I hold my mouse down here, it should also create it down here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we should be able to roll in and out. And now we have our beautiful uh, dialog editor. So let's actually. Oh, all right. So the dialog node that is an error. So let's go have a look. Where is the error? The error is right here. So that's fire dot name. So why does it say name is wrong? Uh, da, 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 da. Object driven, not set to instant of objects. Ah, I think I know why. It's because no name is set here. Hmm, interesting. So, hmm. Text. Oh, I know. I see. So our lovely copy pasting finally backfired. So the name here uh, backfired. So we need to just make sure that all the name fields here. So that's a, a whoopsie from my side. I'm sorry about that. So let's try and go in here and cleanse it and go dialogue. That seems to work. That definitely needs some styling because wow, this is horrible. Well, let's see. This seems to work at least. That's wonderful. How about this? Wonderful. Why is that a little bit? <laughs> Why is this so little? Oh, that's horrible. All right, let's have a look. Uh, what could that be? So let's have a look if we look at both of them at the same time. Is it because we name it this? Let's try and remove this and actually see if that does it. Uh, why did it remove that one? All right, save. Let's go back. Create the dialog node again. No, interesting, interesting. But it does have name over there, which seems rela rather weird. So, is it because I'm setting name there? Can't be, can it? It is. Wow, all right. And this doesn't have multiple lines, so as you can see, nothing happened there. Here, however, here, we can have multiple lines. As you can see, it goes down, down, and down, and down. So, we 
should actually not be able to do anything with those here at the moment. Here. So uh, let's go and do that. And let's just do this. And uh, the error was here in the text field. We need it just to be kind of empty, actually. So let's save that. And go back to grab view. And let me check my notes. All right. So we actually haven't made the possibility for Graph Graph View to know which node it can actually connect to. So we're gonna go over right, and that will be get component this one here. Th this is here where we tell which node can connect to which node. So we're just gonna say goodbye ski and gonna make a list of all the nodes. Oh, ports, sorry, ports. Let's just call it uh, compiling ports. I think it was that was what named in the beginning. And that's a new list of ports. Wonderful. Ah, and then we need to have uh, the port that we actually start holding. So meaning when you hold down your mouse on a port, we need to know which of that is the starting port. So we're gonna go starting port view equals data port. There we go. All right. Then we're gonna go ports dot for each, and then da -da 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 -da. Uh, and then we're gonna go pot, and we're gonna do the thing we normally always do: make a lure expression. Oh. This property go back here and go click. So now we're gonna go through all the ports, and for each port we go through, we're just gonna go and say port uh, view equals port. Right. So now we have the current port that for each of the loop we go through. So now we need to ask it, can you connect to me? So we're gonna go start a port. Start a port is not uh, port view. Uh, port view. So we're literally telling itself you cannot connect to yourself. And start a start a view dot no dot node is not the same as port uh, port view. Dot node. So we now we're also telling it that it can't connect to its own node. And lastly, we are gonna tell uh, it that it cannot connect uh, outport port cannot connect to outport port. So that that's literally what we're telling it. There we go. And if it is none of those then we are going to, going to allow it to um, to connect. So we're just going to go at dot pot. There we go. And then we are, of course, returning the entire ports. There we go. And let me save that. So we are first making a, a port here to check uh, the are the port, uh, are we trying to connect the same port? So if we go in here, the start, uh, are we trying it to connect it to itself? That we, that we won't allow. And next up, we're going to ask uh, if it is the same node, meaning if we, we cannot connect it to itself. And lastly, we are telling it a start node cannot connect to another start node. Meaning if we go here, Meaning you cannot connect here. And if we make a one here, then you can't connect here. And uh, why are they named all names single? That's another bug we need to fix. 
But uh, let's actually check if we can actually do stuff here now. So if I can go, whoopsie. Uh, whoopsie. Um, let's just uh, go the end here, go up here. Then this go up here. Oh, that's beautiful. And we can change this. We can, uh, we have no audios. However, we can uh, go in and find a picture. Add that in, and go da 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 name, and go da 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 And we need, of course, the starter node. Ah, oh, beautiful. Magnificent. So, at least this is the beginning. So, I definitely need to find out why the port name single. That's, that's weird. Let's just fast check that. Uh, that must be in base node. Where would we find that? Let's go here. Go to base node. Uh, da, da, da. That must be import node, I guess. I call import. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna end it here for now, as uh, I'm kind of getting tired. And uh, next video we will look into debugging to make sure that everything works as it should. As I can see, uh, we can actually see the drop down menu here right now. And uh, right now this see-through, which I don't find that uh, attracting. So we're gonna put some color on it. And uh, yeah, so um, see you in the next video.